Hello, beta testers. I want to thank all 71,000 of you for thrusting on the like button and subscribing to push these videos further and inflate numbers since, you know, some people are into that. I'm happy to announce not a single one of you has sent me a song in Fortnite. And for that, I have to say I'm impressed by your business sense in potentially recognizing that your needs should come before mine, a revolutionary concept that many of the plain, tiny tittied wannabe dom mommy pipsqueaks forget when trying to grease the money out of their simp's wallets. And simp is a bad word on some platforms, so you better watch your mouth, you're not trying to get banned around here, are ya? It's crazy to think that a site like Twitch, a long-time softcore cam site, shows that even masculine, muscly-built ladies and solid 5 out of 10s on most people's scales can get all of the attention. Why? Because titty, booba. Bosomy breasticles, knockers, udders, milky mammaries, boy. The numbers don't lie, and you can make a brand new account for a 14 year old on Twitch and get recommended this stuff without clicking anything. It's strange, however, that developers seem to demand ugly women well below even these girls, claiming that anything otherwise would be unrealistic. Well, it's also unappealing. Somehow, I don't think Fortnite's listening to anyone, trying to convince them that realism is the way to go, especially when they're only saying that because their asshole and throat is so sore that they actually believe things like, Insomniac's Mary Jane is beautiful, and this anime needs less fan service. Doesn't that have a terrible ring to it? Insomniacs marry the blobfish Jane. That's what happens. When the talent is either fired or silenced, you lose perspective. Why is what normies instantly regard as a creepy basement dwelling, deep voiced coomer somehow more versed than you, developers? When entities go ignoring thoughts that are top of the pops with non-stop titty plops, that cop big bags of money, expect what you get. Unless you're in space, expect what goes up to come back down. The title of this video is The Day Before E3 Died, Epic Beat Google and Insomniac Suffers Ransomware Attack. It's like a Mad Lib, but the wildest story is that the most wishlisted game on Steam that was clearly too good to be true, which turned out to be a scam, has been removed by Steam, delisted, four days after its early access launch. The dev's website has been nuked, CEO's Twitter and LinkedIn pages have been destroyed and annihilated. Videos are being scrubbed. Their attempts to remove the tags reflecting the lies that the game was being sold under. It's like the crypto of gaming. But you know, game development is really hard. And you know, ruining things you like isn't something that just happens overnight, ask Bethesda. You think it's easy to stay dated and perform worse than decade-old titles, man? You know, damn, beta tester, some of us might have thought it was as easy as just like slam dunking that shit into the ground as hard as you could, but I, it probably, it's apparently very complicated. You know, these poor developers apparently had to shut down their studio, even though it looks like they're changing their name to, you know, a considerable number of refunds were granted. But the day before sold nearly 200,000 units, amounting to millions. And it is my belief that this is only the beginning of this sort of thing in the gaming industry. So start gravitating towards people that you uh, appreciate in a capacity that they're not going to lie to you. Because it's more important now than ever to discern with things, okay? Uh, a pretty prevalent trend in mobile gaming is absolutely false advertising. A lot of the, and it's and it's just marketing. You know what I mean? Tricking people through the door, you know, greasing a little bit of money out of them. <laughs> Which is why I get so conflicted when an ugly Harley Quinn has to be on the box of a live service because anyone stupid enough to buy the Sushi Squad from a studio that the base founders left 
10 years after the fuck, you know what I mean? It's eight years, forgive me, whatever, right? But these people deserve the cream filling, like the hostess Twinkie that they want to be bent and made into. But unfortunately, these little cream puffs are teaching a fucking lesson to these industries on what they can get away with. Of course, they'll learn the wrong lessons with everything that's happening. Please remember, your response is being measured. You're often being tested. Some of y'all got lives, I get it. But maybe gravitate towards the people who seem to have your interest at heart. A lot of the non-voting has gotten us where we are now. Because the shills have much more enthusiastic and obedient audiences than the scrutinizers. Did you hear that Bungie is about to be swallowed properly by Sony because of their own actions? And following diversity terrorists being fired, they're cranky that they have to cancel pentathlons and knitting hour? Oh no, your things are getting canceled now too? I mean, this woke shit's gone wild, huh? That's nuts. It sucks, right? It sucks. It fucking sucks, right? War on pretty and titty is weird. And we're all casualties, I guess, so... With Bungie, as long as they can still have their all-gender Lamaze classes to brace their bodies in preparation for the turd babies that their soy diets will help them create, uh, stop talking. Stop talking. Stop it. Insomniac Games, makers of the recent HRT pause... Makers of the spider... Cuck... I'm trying... Insomniac Games has apparently been the target of a ransomware attack. I'm a conspiracy theorist with a tinfoil hat constantly on in communication with all kinds of different voices with actual perspective, lest they be run out of the fucking room by the thought police. You get what I'm saying? And I don't, you know, I wouldn't disregard this as just like a tactic to get people on, on, on their side following that abortion that they willfully and deliberately fucking just just pushed on out the pipes man you knew people wouldn't like what you were injecting but you did it anyway so this terrible thing that's happening that we all agree is not a good thing that we would want to see happen it's kind of just like oh man so all of that like being an asshole shit though you know what i'm saying it's a kind of crazy thing when it's the biggest complaint. It is something that you hear and are forced to recognize even on the shill advertisement interviews. This question, this thing had to be addressed. Almost as bad as the face changes. Almost as bad as, man, fuck Insomniac Games. They do not deserve what's happened to them. But where they put themselves before this got people like me specifically, not just a little bothered by it, a little, oh, I'm, I'm upset. Because clearly this shit mattered to me. Imagine if it still mattered. There are people I know that it still matters to. They're so much worse, and they're so much angrier than me, and I don't condone their actions, but in the same way you ass swipes look at Killmonger with your normie tastes and go, I can understand where he's coming from even though his methods do not align with what is reasonable or correct. <laughs> Obviously, an attack like that is not cool. I had my IP address leaked by motherfucking Marvel's Avengers. I know what that shit's all about. I got people coming at me and death threat and all this bullshit, but I'm not a bleeding heart on this bitch looking for attention because woo, ba, boo, hoo. So I, I keep that shit under wraps, right? But I wouldn't want this to happen to any of you. It's not cool, right? But no one deserves having work that they spent time, effort, limited resources destroyed by people who've convinced themselves that they're doing the right thing with their activist asses for the record i believe that the ugly mary jane game that won no awards at the award show will suffer enough embarrassment come the next spider-man entry so this is completely unnecessary. I genuinely hope nothing is injected with the intention of making or forcing someone to like something. 
especially when the people don't want that and voice it because they they get enough people being ass wipes in their everyday life because they're real nerds for god's sake and much like any weirdo taking time to come to my channel to talk shit to me or my woman or you know like we're our black and mexican asses haven't heard worse from bigger bullies with with more wit with wisdom enough to know when not to overstep y'all niggas overstep into the point where you will sort yourself out you know how pathetic that is to know that we don't have to engage, we don't have to interfere, we don't have to do anything. You will be your own undoing. Tragic, nigga. And some of y'all only need to stumble across enough mirrors to have your reality shattered. What's, what's to fucking say, man? You know, I, I, we pray for y'all to get the help that you probably are going to pay someone to talk to you so you could volunteer information to the government in exchange for your temporary placebo right up your ass. You know what I mean? Convince you that you're going you're gonna to make it. You got, you got a little bit more in your tank. You can pretend to make it. We've all been there. <laughs> your method wasn't probably what we, we first went to. But y'all, y'all out here might as well be be making the alcohol fucking illegal. You know what I mean? Y'all, y'all prohibition enthusiasts on that ass. We have been to the bottom of the bottom, and it didn't make us monsters like it did most of you. Speaking of monsters, Epic, who started to slowly lift the skirt to reveal them sexy legs under Fortnite, they won a lawsuit against Google. Yes, giant Google. Wow. You know what I mean? I don't care about the details. I imagine the jiggly breasted girls don't watch me exclusively for my leather jacket personality either. But for my hard hitting questions like how does this affect the average gamer to which I'm pretty sure the honest answer is, you know, I'm not sure it does, <laughs> which, of course, is a roundabout way of saying roundabout. Yeah, I'll put that on there. Roundabout way of saying what the fuck that got to do with me. You know what I mean? Who gets to screw the consumer harder is pretty irrelevant to my broke ass. And if uh, delays and studio closures finally put a stop to the slop churning through them pipes from people who hate me almost as much as they hate the thing that they're ruining, you know, good, good, good. You hear how I'm saying it? Good, good. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, you know, whatever. Fuck. That's all. what the fuck we supposed to feel about that. Oh, no. <laughs> no, man. Just like my nerd brothers watching Doctor Who, who got, uh, who keeps getting pulled out of its grave to just be paraded around. And with none of that weekend at Bernie's flair, you know what I mean? No comedic timing. I just, I'm done. I'm ready to see whatever hot collapse is necessary to situate people with more passion for the project than their agenda in shot calling positions. Kyle sounds bitter good i don't care i'm speaking to you from the future bitch with the self-awareness enough to know how cringe that sounds but if you're re-watching this at a later date i guess the cringe made for a perfect deflector shield didn't it good thing glue eaters do not dictate what i do because what they think doesn't matter to me and if you're not careful it might rub off on you the day before is delisted now, just like Marvel's Avengers by Crystal Dynamics. But that doesn't mean it can't hurt anyone. E3 is dead now, like officially. And whoa, that sucks. Where will we get our advertisements in this digital age? Someone please tell me a good magazine subscription for gaming so I don't miss out on things, right? But I'm going to say the most based thing that anybody on the internet is going to have as a take here. And it's, uh, it's that another E3 can emerge the very instant that Booth Babes return. And if that's too revolutionary for the Pearl Clutchers threatening to just and hero if they don't get everything nice and tame like they need it and I demand it right now, I'm gonna fucking do it. If they return, you know, maybe 
Okay, okay, you know, here's a good stepping stone. Maybe we can allow the, the trans people, their favorite VTuber, to have jiggling their titties around, because it's okay when, you know, they do it, I guess. And then from there, when you're, when you're when that has your attention, we can get some real women in here. You know what I mean? That are, that are harmlessly just flaunting with a little bit of confidence, the bodies that they have in the moments that they have with the effort that maybe some of them put into it or naturally just add, you know what I mean? Some really big natties, right? Just these beautiful jiggly women can once again, harmlessly, I'm, 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 I'm my God, I'm, I'm getting all caught up just visualizing the beauty. I'm from a different time, I guess. These characters come to life with more charm out of some of these real women who are talented enough to mix up some of these cosplays in their bedroom in moments after seeing a trailer with them and with more charm and appeal and grace than literal actresses that that are in high budget productions. The pressure is on the suckers who paid for the scam before to make a mockery of this swindling grift. You know, people throw these terms around all the time, but you you should reserve them for when people are really on that bullshit, you wolf criers. Beta testers, I love you. Invite more girls to our clubhouse so they can feel safe and explore their nudist phases. The wish list is in the description. I found a cheap little hard drive, okay? So the sooner that gets got, the sooner we can get to playing more than two multiplayer games that I like to zone out to, get into the Discord, because we can make music together now. Plus, you know, you're so curvy. I mean, what are you going to do? Why are you ruining our chance at romance? Do it or you're gay. Do it or you're gay. And if you're gay, do it or you're straight. Do it or you're straight. And if you're bi, then I know that they don't respect you. <laughs> Ask me how I know that. Ask me how I know sometimes you're probably told somebody somebody goes, um, actually, here's what you are. Like they're telling you what you are. My God. Donate to my pot pie fund and I'll show you that I'm actually a man of my word. And I'm going to buy those pot pies. I'm going to show you those pot pies in the next video. Comment below something that you really want to tell me and place your bets on how long Kotaku lasts. Later. It's the thing that I say now. Kyle out. Flip it up and flip it down. For more gaming news, reviews, and bad voice acting, stay tuned here on Kyle No. I'll see you guys next time. Kyle out.